Welcome back. Following the release of the second Christmas update is the fifth entry to the Platinum 5 dev blog. It outlines the plans going to 2021 based on lessons learned this past year. As per usual, everything in the dev blog is subject to change and my opinions are simply my opinions. The first priority of 2021 is a revamp to weapon customization. Probably the most obvious feature coming is the ability to use flashlights and lasers simultaneously. This mechanic will be represented with a pressure switch with cables going to their respective components. Accessorizing this way adds a ton of utility since players can now react proactively as situations develop. For example, one can begin a mission with IR and switch to white light when things go loud. In addition, IR and visible lasers will be housed into one unit with the ability to toggle between them. This is great for working with newer players. Those with night vision can paint targets with a visible laser then switch to IR when needed. We can expect some new flashlights with highly focused beams and others with more spill, much like their counterparts in real life. I can definitely appreciate more options, especially with the new lighting. Suffice to say, the future really is bright. This new system will eat up a lot more data, but assuming all goes well, the loadout count might be increased. Players will also be able to move attachments up and down the rail as they please, either to meet a specific look or for personal preference. This mechanic applies to both optics and handguard attachments. One could argue that this is superficial, but it should help make setups just a little bit more unique. With that said, I would appreciate the ability to add multiple attachments to the optics rail. The extra space can pave the way for add-ons such as magnifiers or canted sights for different engagements. Naturally, the AR pattern rifles will benefit the most. However, I am of the opinion that every weapon will benefit somewhat from this new system. What I believe to be a very creative feature is the ability to change stock length for different recoil behavior. This is particularly useful in the case of support gunners who make liberal use of automatic fire to cover large areas. Ultimately, I'm very excited for the new gunsmithing mechanics. Be it pragmatic or outright cursed, I look forward to seeing the ways that players will be setting up their guns. On the player vs player side, the third Christmas update will also introduce larger scale games that pit 10 against 10 and later 25 against 25. These have been a long-awaited addition, especially with the testing done in months prior. Ranked matchmaking will be seeing its revisit down the line, hopefully fixing many of the queuing issues present right now. Regardless of the mode, I'd like to see more in the way of objectives, more specifically ones that demand cooperation. To top things off, a new office map will be joining the pool very soon. I really like it and hope that more CQB-oriented maps will come in the future. Along with customization, Weapon Selection will be receiving some new members in 2021 to include the SVD, 416, and 93R in FAMAS. Not much to say except that I now have very high expectations of the models after seeing how stellar the M9 and FAL look. On the other hand, vehicles are a different story. The priority right now is to bring up existing vehicles to current standards. This means that anything new is just going to have to wait, so please suggest responsibly. One of the more ambitious goals going into 2021 is optimizing the game to run more comfortably on lower end devices to include the Xbox. This means cleaning up maps and more aggressive LODs for weapon models. Hopefully, everyone will have the chance to finally experience this game. Apart from some reflection, the blog concludes by teasing vehicle customization and the next mission of Raid Mode. That's about it as far as the blog goes. One more thing though, I've been really out of the game for the last two months, but I've been doing my best to make good on my promises, starting with the infantry video. All I can say right now is to stay tuned, stay safe, and have a happy new year. Cheers everyone.